Hi everyone, this is Dan Gross for News 8 and RochesterFirst.com. Welcome to What's Good, the place where we share the good news in and around Rochester over the past seven days. Let's cue the jam. As we do, leading off with the Rochester Red Wings. Though they may have lost last night against the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, it was the conclusion of an impressive nine-game winning streak. They still sit on top of their division and playing the Iron Pigs again today. They have a chance to improve those chances uh, today, assuming you're watching this uh, the same day we posted it. Same deal here, it is a bit of a bummer that the Rochester Americans lost last night against Utica, but they continue to impress in the playoffs, pulling out multiple overtime victories. Game five against the Comets is coming up soon. The Rochester Cocktail Reviver, the only week-long festival of its kind in New York, is returning for its ninth year. The festivities will kick off on Monday, June 6th, and run through June 12th. The week-long festival features more than 60 events at bars and restaurants across the city, some free and some ticketed. A portion of all the proceeds benefit cancer support community Rochester. And Rochester Mayor Malik Evans broke ground on phase two of the Erie Harbor Enhancement Project. That's part of the Rock the Riverway Transformation Program. And this particular initiative aims to improve the Genesee Gateway Park in the South Wedge. Plans for the park include upgrades to deteri deteriorating park features, rather, new grills, a drive up, as well as a canoe and kayak launch. Heroes Brewing Company in Rochester is re-releasing a special beer, a pineapple mango Kolsch. The CW4 Coke was made in honor of Christian Koch, a National Guard pilot who was killed in a Black Hawk helicopter crash in Menden last year. A portion of the beer's sales will go towards a GoFundMe that supports the child of a friend of Koch's. And East High School was recognized by the state for its one-of-a-kind on-campus barbershop. The East Cutting Edge Barbershop opened last October, and it offers free haircuts to students, along with mentorship and guidance. The New York State School Boards Association says it provides a safe environment for students while teaching them valuable life skills. The Rochester Fashion Week is returning for its spring season, this time at the public market. All funds go towards the Center for Youth to support violence prevention programs and aid for homeless youth. This particular event also features a young black designer, Rakim Hill, who is using his platform to encourage young people to spend their time creatively. Roberts Wesleyan College relaunched its Nursing to Bachelor of Science degree program last week, now with a 45% tuition discount for those who register between July 1st and December 31st of 2023. Enrollment also offers the option to get your degree online in as little as 12 months. Donuts Delight is giving back in celebration of the Town of Greece's 200th anniversary on Friday. As they said, they will be donating 50% of profits from its last batch of donuts to the Ukraine Crisis Relief Fund. Throughout the next month, every purchase of a 200th anniversary donut will be used to support Ukrainian residents in that effort. Fifth graders at Hope Hall School in Angeline Trotta's class created their own micro-businesses to raise funds for Hope Hall's Walk for Hope. This is a fundraiser that supports their own education. The kids got to learn the soft skills that come with running their own business, as well as the chance to present these businesses in person. And these young women here are showing off dresses they received in School 10's Benefit in a Dress giveaway. The dresses came from Sandy Arena with a company called Worth More Nation. They've given out more than 150 dresses to date. The students wear these dresses at their Rights of Achievement ceremony in June. And the goal of Worth More Nation is to empower young ladies to show them that they are worth more. What else is good? This photo of the lunar eclipse is good. Thanks so much to Dave Boyer for passing this along to us. We were treated with a great view of the eclipse this past weekend. Now, a little bit of background because, you know, we enjoy these sort of things on What's Good. A typical full moon appears silver and bright, but when the Earth's shadow covers it, it becomes darker and sometimes can appear this coppery red color depending on the state of Earth's atmosphere. What else is good? An after-hours party at a museum is good. Friday, June 10th is the next RMSC After Dark event. This one called Geek Chic. They ask that you come in Geek Chic, uh, though in fairness, I don't really know what that is, but uh, we can figure this one out together. In Geek Sheet <laughs> apparel to take some fun and awkward prom photos. The event will also feature VR arcades, pop culture trivia, and yeah, even food from Dinosaur Barbecue. What else is good? 
your good news. Whatever it is, if it puts a smile on your face, the team and I would love to hear from you. You can drop me a line personally. My email should be on screen right about now. That's dgross at wrctv.com. And please pass along any photos or video that you have as well. This is a visual business after all, and it does help us out quite a bit. Well, I think that just about does it for this week. That's good. My name is Dan Gross. Thank you so much for your time and company today. Really appreciate it. You know what else is going to be good? The rest of your week. We'll see you next Wednesday.